Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this. So this party poster animation is done in After Effects and it's very easy to create. You can use it for any kind of poster reveal. So let's see how to create this. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and I've already imported a couple of these images. So these are just some dancers with no background and also I have these assets like QR code and this sticker so I downloaded them from the internet and over here we have this texture so I downloaded this from freepick.com and I'll put a link in the description from where you can download this texture and you can learn about the attribute and all for the artist so once you have downloaded them and just import them in after effects and you are ready to go so first we'll begin by creating any composition let's call this one main width and height will be 19 20 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps duration 10 seconds just click on ok now we are going to create another composition for our image. Let's call this one image. Rest of things will remain same. Let's create one more for our text. Let's call this one text and perfect. So let's open up the text comp and select the text tool. You can type whatever you want. I'm going to type tense and let's align it to the center. Now let's press S and let's just quickly scale this up to something like 300. Perfect. Let's again align it to the center. Now we can select the text and I'm going to place it to the top somewhere around here. We can change the position later on. So let's open up the image comp and let's drag one of these images. So I'm going to use this one. Again, it's completely up to you. You can use whatever image you want. Just make sure that the background is transparent. Let's place it somewhere around here. Let's go back to the main composition. First, I'm going to create a new background. So right click new solid and make sure that it's not completely black, a little bit of dark gray will work fine just click on ok let's import our text and let's import our image as well like that so here we have everything and i think the position of the text and image looks fine to me but if you want you can go inside the composition and you can play around with it so once you're done with this let's start by animating our text first so i'm going to hide the image for now now let's select the text and we are going to create that drippy kind of effect so now to do that, we are going to apply a couple of effects. So let's search for CC scale wipe and let's drag it over here. Now, if I increase the stretch amount, you can see that we are getting some results. Now direction, I'm going to set this to 180 because I want these, this to go down. Now we can play around with the center. So as I move it to the top, you can see that we have the text coming down, something like that. So let's place it over here. So once we're done with this, we can add some texture to this. So in order to do that, let's search for fractal noise. So let's drag it over here and under the contrast, let's increase this up quite a bit. Go under the transform and check uniform scaling. And I'm going to increase the height so that we have these elongated kind of things. Now we can add some colors to this using the colorama effect. So let's search for colorama and let's drag it over here. Now here we have a bunch of different colors. Now if you want to play around with this, you can go inside the output cycle. And under the presets, we have a bunch of different presets that you can choose from. For example, if you want this kind of look, then you can go with this. But for this one, I'm going to use the hue cycle. Again, if you want to change the color, you can double click on these. And from here, you can just pick whatever colors you want. But I'm going to leave it right here. We can also go inside the fractal and let's increase the contrast a little bit to add more of this red sort of color. Perfect. Now you can see that all of these lines are like very much straight. So we can add a little bit of distortion to this. So in order to do that, let's search for turbulent displays and let's drag it over here. So right away, you can see we have a bunch of different noise. We can play around with the amount depending upon what you want. Perfect. So I think everything looks fine. And let's go inside the noise, fractal noise. And I'm going to increase this quite a bit so that we have these elongated lines. Perfect. Now I'm going to select the text and let's press Ctrl D. And on the top one, I'm going to delete all of these effects so that we have the plain text like that. So before we continue, if you enjoy my work and you want to support me, then you can check out my Patreon page. Over there, you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. So if you want to support me, then make sure to check it out. Link for that is in the description. So let's continue with this. Now we are going to animate this. So in order to do that, I'm going to select these two. Press P for position. Let's add keyframes. Let's move them somewhere around one and a half second. Now select the text comps and I'm going to move them to the top. Something like that. Now we can select the keyframes. Press F9. Let's go to the graph editor. Now if your graph looks different, make sure you are using the speed graph. Let's select these and I'm going to change the graph to look something like that. 
Now I also want these to like grow from zero. So now to do that, I'm going to select this and let's go under the CC scale wipe and we can play around with the stretch amount. So let's add a keyframe, press U and let's move this keyframe over here. Let's start from zero. Now, if I play back, you can see that we have this growing sort of effect. We can select the keyframes and do some easing over here as well. Now, I don't want to overdo this. So let's add something like that. Yeah, I think this looks perfect. Cool. Now, I don't want this to like remain static. So that there are two ways in which you can do that. If you want to just animate the color inside this, then you can go inside the fractal noise. And over here, we have this offset turbulence. So if I move it, you can see that now only the color is moving, not the waves. If you want, you can just add keyframe for the turbulent offset and it will do the same. But if you want to have motion in the waves as well, then you can go inside the turbulent displays. And over here, we have the turbulent offset here as well. Now, if I move this, you can see that now we are changing the look of this. So we are going to basically do this. So let's add a keyframe in the beginning and let's go to the very end and now just move it down like that. Now, if I play back, you can see we have this very subtle motion in this. We can do one more thing. Let's select this, press add a keyframe for the amount as well. Let's press U. Let's move this keyframe a little bit ahead and let's set this to zero like that. Now we can also add the animation in this turbulent offset as well. So let's add a keyframe and let's go over here and I'm going to just move it down so that we have this color flowing like that. So yeah, I think this looks perfect. Now we can enable our image. So let's enable this up. Let's add some animation to this as well. Let's add a keyframe for position somewhere around here. Let's go to the beginning and I'm going to move it down again. Do the same things thing with the keyframe and let's play this out. Yeah, I think this looks fine. Now we can select this image, press control D and select the top one and let's move like one or two frames ahead. Let's search for fill and let's drag it onto the bottom layer. Again, you can pick whatever color you want. I think yellow will look fine on this. So let's add this really nice yellow color. Just click on OK. Now I don't want this to be this smooth. I want to have a little bit of stop motion kind of effect. So in order to do that, right click, let's add an adjustment layer. And on this one, let's apply posturize time. And let's drag it over here. Now I'm going to set the frame rate to 12. And now if I play back, you will see that we have some like jittery kind of motion, which makes it little bit more interesting perfect now we can add some assets which i already have downloaded again you can just find whatever qr codes or you want or any other details so let's set this and i'm going to just align it to the top let's place it over here let's add the sticker as well and let's apply fill to this because it's black let's drag it to this and let's make it white Perfect. Let's select this, press S and I'm going to set this to something like 20 and maybe a little bit less. Again, we can place it wherever we want. So I think yeah, it looks good at this corner. Perfect. Now we can add some details for the events as well. So let's add 8 p.m. and Madison Club. Again, these are just some random details which you can add on your own. Let's place it over here. It's completely up to you. you can just fill out whatever details you want now let's animate all of these so let's add keyframe for position to all of these let's go to the very beginning now i want this to come from this side this we can animate it from this and this we can come from this side select the keyframes press f9 again completely up to you just play around with some easing so yeah i think this looks fine maybe we can add a little bit of delay perfect so we are pretty much done with everything. Now our last step is to add some texture to this to make this really stand out. So let's create a new composition. Let's call this one texture. That's so things will remain same. Just click on OK. Now select the texture which we have downloaded and let's drag it over here. It's quite big. So I'm going to just scale this down so that it fits. Now let's set this to 100. Now you can probably zoom in. Now I'm going to move like four frames, then select this, press Control Shift T to split the layer. Now select the top one, plus R. And I'm going to rotate it 180 degree. Basically, we are adding some randomness or some variation to the texture so that we don't have the still texture. 
and now at this one i'm going to just scale this up and let's place it at this corner again let's move like four frames press ctrl shift t and this one we can probably move it to this side or maybe let's place it over here again let's move four frames let's select this one and we can place it over here now again one two three four and press ctrl shift t this time let's place it over here we can probably scale this up like that let's move four frames ahead four and i'm going to select the layer press ctrl shift t to split and let's delete this end part now we don't want this other length we can probably trim the comp right now so you can either press n on the keyboard or you can just click and drag this end point like that so let's place it over here perfect now we can right click trim comp to work area now if i play back you can see that we have this animated texture which is exactly what we want let's go back to the main comp and let's quickly drag it over here now you can see that it's like this long now we want this to like cover the entire length so right click go to time enable time remapping hold on the alt key or option key on mac and click on the stopwatch then type this expression loop out and after that just simply extend it to however length you want let's move it a little bit ahead like that now you can see that we have this entire looping texture perfect now we can select this and i'm going to change its mode from normal to let's say lighten and now if i play back you can see we have this very nice texture applied on top of everything now if you want to play with this texture more then you can search for curves and let's drag it over here you can play around with some contrast and brightness depending upon your look and taste so yeah i think this looks good perfect so here we have everything now in order to make this like really pop out we can add some glow to this so let's select this and let's search for glow let's drag it onto this text layer and i'm going to just increase this up and let's lower down the glow intensity to something like 0.2 maybe so yeah now you can see that it really stands out perfect so this is how you can create these kind of animation and the best thing about this method is that if you want to change anything all you have to do is just go inside the composition let's add other image let's hide this up scale this down like that let's go to the text comp and again you can type whatever you want let's type step up let's place it in the center now if i go back you can see that all of these are already updated and we have the animation supplied as well so this is how you can create these kind of party poster animation and you can use this technique to like pretty much animate any kind of poster so i hope you learned something from this video and if you have any queries or questions then you can ask in the comments below also the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you are supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you are not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one Oh,